So I've just been watching a uh, a video of um, a lovely girl called Izzy Davis. Uh, please check out her channel. She's a um, she's a young. I think she's 17, 17 years old, um, and she's been doing uh, vegan lifestyle for a year or two, I think, a couple of years. Um, yeah, really, really good videos. Go and check them out. Um, but I was just watching one of her. Uh, it was actually on Happy Healthy Vegans videos. Um, and she was talking about how she got a lot of stick in, in high school, in uh, secondary school, from if you're from England, uh, but from high school, about uh, being different and kind of... Um, she, felt, she felt a bit removed, I think, and a bit left out. She actually quit high school um, because of that, because she didn't want to be surrounded by it in that environment where people were kind of giving her stick all the time. Um, and kind of, she was talking about alcohol and how... Most people her age are just figured, focused on alcohol and waiting for the next party to get drinking. And it just got me thinking, and I was like, yeah, actually I can resonate with that a lot. Um, and it just got me thinking about, does this lifestyle, does it encourage you to be, does it make you left out because it's so different? Does it make you an outcast sort of thing? Um, and yeah, like I said, I can relate to that because there's similar things with my friends. I've kind of drifted away from quite a lot of my friend groups um, from when I was in like college and stuff. Kind of, it's obviously it's sad, but I mean, I I haven't actively done things to try and make myself drift away. It's being, it's more, it's more the choices, difference in choice making. So like, because I decided one of my choice, choices which I made was to not drink alcohol anymore. And um, obviously a lot of my friends didn't make the same choice and they were going to parties. I like to get early nights and they're kind of staying out until like 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Obviously that's not going to gel too well. I mean, I still go out with my friends, like uh, di different friends to the ones I was just talking about. But I still go out with them in town every now and again. Not drunk, but you know, go and do it. But anyway, it just... Just got me thinking, does this lifestyle make you an outcast? Does it make you left out and not part of anything, any friend group? Like, well, it can do in some ways. It depends what way you look at it and kind of what what you believe. I mean, if if you're doing something, if you're doing the right thing, say you're doing something for, for great reasons like veganism, say you're a vegan because you give a shit about animal welfare and you kind of realise what goes on, it's bad for the environment, and it's bad for your health, and you say, actually, you know, screw it, stop. You're going to kind of put a stop in that and say, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to drink alcohol. I'm going to get early nights. I'm going to try and live the life which I'm naturally supposed to. Woo. Um, yeah, you do something like that, which is a good choice. It's a positive choice. That isn't necessarily going to be supported by others. But if they don't, that's not your loss. You're still doing the right thing. You're still doing something right. It's just not supported by your friends, and friends are always supposed to support, and I still have some of my old friends, which I did in college and school and stuff, but most of them have kind of, we've kind of severed relationships and connections, which happens anyway as you get older, I think. Um, but it kind of goes to show to me, if those things are happening, if you're feeling like you're removed and your friends are dropping off or whatever, you've just got to be sure with the decision you're making, sure with the choices you're making. If you know all this stuff about, no, I know I'm making a difference by doing this and I feel so much better, it's definitely the right thing, then you must keep doing it. You mustn't change what you're doing for other people. You do what you want to do because you want to do it and you know it's right. So if the people are falling off the wagon, you're losing friends or whatever, you're thinking, oh God, am I just removing myself from society here? Cool. I mean, don't worry about it. If they're falling off, then they're obviously not good enough friends because they don't support you. They don't support your lifestyle choices, even if they don't agree with them. A, great, a good friend should always agree. I'm sorry, a good friend should always support your lifestyle choices if they fully listen to the reasons why you're doing it. Um, so, see it as a positive thing. So, okay, that's all right. That's done now. That's past. Now, look to the future and focus on new relationships and connections with more like-minded people who share more of the same views with you and can just get you better, they just understand, you know, live a much healthier, much, well, yeah, healthier, but happier life, so, does being vegan, a high-carb vegan, make you an outcast? Potentially, depending if that's the way to look at it, but 
don't look at it that way. It's just sorting through the people who are actually worth it and worth being around. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you experienced anything similar to this? Lost friendships and things like that. Cool. See you for the next video.